On July 17, 2022, Scott Dixon won his 52nd IndyCar race at the Honda Indy Toronto event, joining Mario Andretti in second place on the all-time career wins list. Both drivers also have a single Indy 500 victory to their names, an accomplishment they achieved nearly four decades apart, with Dixon starting in pole position five times compared to Andretti's three at the famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Andretti has won the IndyCar Series four times, while Dixon was crowned champion for a sixth time in 2020. While both drivers are undoubtedly revered by racing fans as all-time greats of open-wheel racing, their path to 52 victories are very different. Let's overlay their careers and see how they compare. While Andretti didn't win a race in his first season, he managed a total of nine victories over the next two seasons, resulting in back-to-back -back championship titles. Another championship followed in his sixth season when he won nine races, which is also his best season ever from a race's one point of view. IndyCar's success then eluded him for 15 years, winning his fourth and final title during his 21st season in 1984. During this period, he also competed in other series like World Sports Car Championship and Formula One, winning the latter in 1978. His 52nd and final victory was at the Phoenix Raceway, one year before retiring after an incredible 31 seasons behind the wheel. In sharp contrast to Andretti, Dixon not only won the very first race of his career, but also won another two during his inaugural season on his way to a championship title that year. In fact, Dixon has won races in all but one of his 20 seasons to date, which propelled him to three titles in his first 10 seasons. Another three titles followed over the next decade as he established himself as the leading IndyCar driver of our time. And at an average of about two and a half race wins per season, he will finish well above 70 in total should he compete for as long as Andretti did. Next, let's look at the career of the undisputed all-time great A.J. Foyt. He competed in the Indianapolis 500 for an astonishing 35 consecutive years, winning it four times, including 1967, when he also won the Le Mans 24 Hours in France. After retiring from racing, he became a successful team owner and claimed another Indy 500 victory from the pit lane when one of his drivers won the race in 1999. He also didn't hesitate to dish out some tough love to those he didn't quite agree with, as Dutch driver Ari Lewendijk found out on a balmy night in Texas. Despite an initial three winless seasons, Foyt was finally crowned champion in 1960 when he finished on the podium at each of the last seven races of that year. In 1964, his eighth season, Foyt not only won the first seven races of the season, but also notched up a still-standing record of 10 total wins on his way to a fourth title. Another three titles followed with his final race win in season 25 at the Tricky Triangle in Pennsylvania in 1981. Let us know in the comments if you think Dixon will overtake Foyt's record of 67 career wins or if Andretti should be considered the greatest IndyCar driver of all time. Also, let us know your ideas for future videos. See you next time.